These images are from a video that tries to discredit an RFERL investigation into a secret luxury residence used by Uzbek President Shavkat Mirziyoyev. This sloppy production was published by Uzbekistan Railways, which claims the mountain dacha is actually a vacation camp for its staff. Last month, RFERL's Uzbek service presented substantial evidence of a hidden mountain complex built for Mirziyoyev's use. Two sources estimated it cost hundreds of millions of dollars. It was overseen by Uzbekistan Railways, and earlier an official at the state-owned company had spoken to opposition activist Alexei Garshin about the project. The Uzbekistan Railways video was released the day after our report was published. The people in these images are purportedly enjoying the facilities at a company-owned vacation facility called Shovazsoy. A close look at the video raises many doubts. The facilities look cheap and shabby. Yet Uzbek Railways says it spent $43 million on the complex. Also, the video does not show the reception, the bedrooms or other facilities. Compare that to this Uzbekistan Railways video, promoting one of its six previously declared recreation centres. Uzbekistan Timuriyolari Davlat Aksanyerlik Kampaniyasi Yiqarashli Nazarbek Sanatoriy Profilaktorisi Toshkent shahar Zangiyoti tumanining so'lim bo'shalaridan bo'lmish Nazarbek hududida joylashgan. Sources told us the Shovosoy video was shot near a checkpoint on the edge of the presidential complex, around one and a half kilometers from the main buildings. Google Earth satellite images of this location have physical features seen in the video and in photos provided by Uzbekistan Railways. One photo was possibly taken from the corner of this building. On the right, there are some buildings and a footbridge, while a main road runs through the middle. Back on the satellite image, we can see a bridge, buildings and a main road. Activist Alexei Gardashin decided to phone Uzbekistan Railways, posing as someone who wanted to purchase a stay at a company resort. He asks the operator about other available resorts and then the alleged centre at Shovosoy. Ну, не знаю, кто нас этим То занимается. То есть вы вот эти ваши все знаете, а вот что вас Two sources close to Uzbekistan Railways management told us work began on the video on February the 18th and 19th after we asked the company to comment on our investigation. There was said to be more filming on February the 24th, the day after we published our findings, and the same day the video was released. This might explain why there is snow in some parts of the video, but not in others, since it snowed at this location on the 24th. The video was accompanied by a statement rejecting the findings of the RFERL investigation. Uzbekistan Railways' response fails to address key questions, such as why the area is covered by a no-fly zone. It begs the question, is this really to protect a company resort or a secret presidential retreat?